I am so excited. I'm so excited. Like, my face hurts. I've been smiling that much. <laughs> If you all have already seen my Father's Day surprise video, then you already know that Deb and I are pregnant again. And we are so happy. I don't even know if that like accurately describes it. We are just really, really, really happy. This is Deb and I's first unplanned baby. We weren't exactly expecting to have another baby right now. Carly and Kinley were very much planned and on purpose. This baby was kind of an oops due to birth control, but that's okay. It's really okay. We still love it, we still want it, we still think the world of it. The second we saw that positive test, we just fell in love. And it's really not gonna make a difference because it was unplanned on how much we really want this baby. It was just a surprise. <laughs> I've actually been wanting to do a pregnancy vlog since like I was pregnant with Carly. Um, I'm gonna give a shout out to Jess fam. I love her, I think she's amazing. Uh, she's done like four of these and I think that's great. I wish I would have done Carly and Kenley pregnancy vlogs. I just didn't. Um, the reason why though is, is because Devin has a um, ex-girlfriend who is really stalkerish and she really heavily stalks our, our life and she hates us like a lot and everything we do is bad and we never do anything right and I mean, it doesn't matter what we do, it really doesn't. Everything is bad. And I was really hesitant because of that, because I didn't want somebody who hates us that much to know the ins and outs of my pregnancy. But I'm kind of at the point now where I don't care, <laughs> because I love vlogging, and I love my viewers, I love the comments that you all make, I love this community so much, and I want to do this vlog more than I care about what she thinks or what she says. Who really cares, you know? I don't care. So, I'm gonna get right into it. As of today, I am four weeks and three days pregnant. I am due in February, which means that we will have three kids under three years old because Carly won't be three until that June. So, <laughs> our lives are about to get very busy, which it's okay, it's okay. Um, I was really freaked out when I was pregnant with McKinley because I didn't know how I was gonna handle two kids under two. I know Devin shared that with me. Um, if I can handle that, I'm kind of, you, you kind of get a feel for, you know, juggling a lot of stuff. So I'm pretty confident that we'll be fine handling three. It'll be okay. Won't be the end of the world. We're still excited. We're still happy. It'll be okay. My biggest pregnancy symptom right now is nausea. Holy cow. Nausea. Okay, uh, like a week ago, I was feeling nauseous. I didn't even know that you could feel nausea at three weeks pregnant. Is that even a thing? Can, do people do that? But I kid you not, and hand to God, this is a true story. I was sitting on the couch with the girls, hanging out with them, taking care of them, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this wave of nausea just hit me, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna be sick. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be sick. And I was like, wait a minute. Why am I sick? Am I, am I pregnant? So Devin went out, got a bunch of pregnancy tests. I took a bunch of them, they were all negative. So I was like, okay, well maybe I'm just coming down with something. Maybe I'm just, you know, getting sick or something. Brushed it off. Uh, a couple days later, I was like, I'm still sick. <laughs> I'm not running a fever. I'm not feeling any other symptom but nausea. What is this? Got some more tests. And what you know it, on Saturday, it was positive. So I told Devin that day, which is like an early Father's Day present, because I, I videoed it, it's there on my channel. Um, it's like an early Father's Day present because technically Father's Day wasn't until Sunday, but hey, to me it counts. So I'm still feeling nauseous, like it's day, it's night, it's in between, it's all the time. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> like I'm nauseous right now, it's crazy. Another weird symptom I've been having lately, I crave onion like a mad woman. I don't know what this is. Um, this pregnancy already, and I'm just four weeks, three days, has, it's already 
so much different than the girls. And I mean, I get that. I know what I'm going to get already. Oh, every pregnancy is different. Yes, I know this. I really do. I've had two. I know. Every pregnancy is different. This pregnancy is like too different. I don't crave weird stuff. Like with Carly and Kinley, I never craved anything weird. Um, with Carly, I craved Mexican food like so much. I thought she's gonna come out Mexican. Like I ate Mexican food like a crazy person. <laughs> I ate all the Mexican food. Um, and with Kinley, I didn't really crave anything. I just wanted food in general. I didn't really crave anything specific, I don't think. This baby wants me to eat onions. And I think it was yesterday, I sat with a bowl of raw onion and I ate it. If you know me personally, you know that I hate onion with a passion. I hate it, hate it. Like I go to McDonald's and I order my burger with no onion. If they put onion on it anyway, I go back and I order another one because even though you scrape it off, I can still taste it. That's how much I hate onion. And I'm sitting on my couch yesterday with a bowl of raw onion eating it. It freaked me out. <laughs> I'm still craving it. Like hubby bought me a bag of Funyuns and I ate all of them. I don't like Funyuns. I ate the whole bag. <laughs> I've never craved anything really weird like paint chips or grass or anything like that. But I've never craved stuff I don't like. I'm not used to this. I didn't do it with Carly. I did do it with Kinley. Why am I doing it with this kid? Another pregnancy symptom that I always skip out on is the breast soreness. I didn't get that with Carly and Kenley, but with this baby, I'm starting to get it a little bit. Devin made the horrible mistake of Googling signs and symptoms of twins. And oh my gosh, you guys, uh, don't ever Google stuff. Like just, I don't recommend it. Don't do it. It's always a bad idea. And it always gives you that little voice of doubt in the back of your head. And that's what I now have because all of my symptoms they're like amplified than what I have with the girls. It's like way worse. My nausea is way worse. My uh, soreness is way worse. My food cravings are weird. Like this is just beyond weird. I don't want to say for sure because I don't want to get there at my appointment next month. Uh, she doesn't see me. My OB doesn't see me until I'm eight weeks, which is next month. Uh, I don't want to get there and her do an ultrasound, which she's going to do. And there will only be one baby, and I feel stupid. <laughs> I don't want to feel stupid, especially in front of an audience. I would really rather not feel stupid. But I can't make, like, the voice go away. I've already gained three pounds. I, my pre-pregnancy weight was 145, and I'm now at 148. And I'm only four weeks, three days. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, viewers, if you know any moms of twins or multiples at all, show them this video, link them. Whatever, tag them down below. Please let them comment down below and tell me what they felt and what their signs and symptoms were and maybe that will give me like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> I can relax, I can calm down, I can not think that, holy cow, we're about to have four under three. You know what I mean? Just let me have some zen. And please tag them below, show them this video, whatever it is that you can do. I would so appreciate it. As far as our future plans go, this doesn't really change much. Um, Devin, the ex-girlfriend I was talking about earlier, whenever they broke up, she like really wrecked his credit. Again, she will be name nameless. I'm not going to give you her name, but she like wrecked his credit, like ran up his credit cards and we've gotten bills and we're like, um, <laughs> so he hired uh, as some attorneys and they're taking care of his credit. And once his credit's better, we're like, we're going to buy a house and so like so many when doors will be open for us. We'll be able to do so much more. And that's going to be in like, well, before this baby's born or right at it. So uh, we're, we're moving anyway, like really soon. So there's that. Um, I'm still going to school uh, as long as all of the plans fall into place. I'm still going to school, hopefully this fall. It's all online. I'm going to get my degree. I might have to take the semester off next uh, the spring semester. I might have to take it off, um, but otherwise I'm still going. I'll probably just go in the summer and let that count for my spring semester. We love and take care of our other two and we're going to love and take care of this one and we're still happy. So <laughs> with Carly and Kinley, I kept a pregnancy book. I uh, started doing this because I wanted the girls to, or the babies I should say, to 
have their own special book um, just for them where I can log and keep stuff from my pregnancy. I thought that would be really unique and special. So this is Carly's. It's called The Belly Book and I really love this book. Um, it's very detailed. It goes through all of the trimesters, first, second, third, and there's even a spot back here for the birth. Um, it, it has like prenatals, appointments, and ultrasounds. I think I can see an ultrasound in here somewhere. It has, see there's a place for your ultrasounds, um, your baby shower in here. Like this has so much stuff in it. It really breaks it down. It's very comprehensive. It breaks it down week by week. Um, it even goes so far as like what your hobbies are at that week. Like what are you reading? What are you listening to? What TV shows are you watching? I really love this book. It's a really, really great book. Um, I filled out a lot of it with Carly. <laughs> um, I'm really glad I got this one. And this is Kenley's. Um, not as detailed. I actually got this book for free before we even knew we were having her. Um, I got it in the mail and I just kept a hold of it. I like this one. I just think it's different, a lot different than the belly book. Not as detailed, not as comprehensive. There's, um, see this is the, the, this is our pregnancy test that I have to paint, uh, taped on here and our first prenatal appointment. And then it breaks it down like, like this. Like there's a little picture of the fruit and then it goes in like a journal entry. It um, has little places where you fill it out. So if you don't like have as much time to fill out a whole big comprehensive pregnancy book, this is really great. I really, really like it. I really recommend this to anybody. Um, I really like that the girls both have their own pregnancy book. It's their own, it's unique. It's, it's not just the same book, different baby. Um, and for this baby, I would really like to, for it to have its own pregnancy book. So viewers, if you could please help me out, if you have suggestions or ideas or anything like that, drop me a comment down below. Um, I will definitely look into it because I'm kind of at a loss. <laughs> Don't really know what I want to do or what book to buy or anything like that. So your suggestions would be fabulous. I will love you forever. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and do a belly video. Um, I wasn't originally going to do it because there's really not much to see. <laughs> Very, you know, early in it. But uh, I thought I would go ahead just to get a, you know, a base. Like this is where we started and at 40 weeks here we are. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. So this is where we are right now at four weeks, three days. Really not much to show. <laughs> I have like this permanent little pooch because I have Carly and Kenley and that's just my postpartum belly. But uh, I'm still very kind of flat, not really much to see. I started showing like really early, like by like 14, 15 weeks pregnant, I look pregnant. Thank you all so much for watching my vlog. I really enjoyed making this. I'm so excited about it. Uh, thank you to all the viewers who dropped comments down below. I will see you all soon. Bye.